guys I'm coming to you bare face because I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and I'm gonna do it from the start to finish so if I look like this I'm so sorry but yeah I hope you guys like it and give this video a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't already so yeah let's get on to the tutorial okay guys we're gonna start with the vanishing cream from lush it's a moisturizer and we're gonna apply that all over the face to moisturize our face before we go in with any mattifying material to keep our skin hydrated and apply that all over your face and neck then we're going in with the bubble gum lip scrub to exfoliate the lips before we put any lip products on there then we're going in with the kat von d hydrating primer all over our face and don't forget to put down your neck and on your t-zone if you have oily skin then we're going in with the kat von d foundation and i'm the color medium 52 and we're going to get a beauty sponge and apply that all over our face and down our neck and then we're going in with the powder foundation also from kat von d all over our face to set that liquid foundation we just put on there and don't forget to go down your neck also then we're going in with the wet and wild mega glow contour stick and the kat von d concealer to contour our face and i'm doing a butterfly shape for the contour and then we're gonna get a beauty sponge and contour our whole face and don't forget to blend, blend, blend the concealer and the contour cream. Then I'm going in again with the Kat Von D concealer to put it under the eyes to brighten. And then don't forget to blend that out also. And also put some on my eyelids to put as concealer so the eyeshadows will stick. Then I'm going in with the Kat Von D translucent powder and setting the concealer I just put and we're gonna put it to bake under the eyes, the cheekbones, and the eyelids. Then I'm going in with a fluffy brush and brushing that all away. Then I'm going in again with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Stick and I'm going to contour my nose down the bridges of my nose to contour and don't forget blend, blend, blend that out. Then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche and putting that on top of where I went over with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. And then I'm going with the Tarte Party Blush. And we're putting that on the cheeks. And then we're going to get another brush and blend that out. Then I'm going in with the Bomb Cosmetics Betty Luminizer Highlighter. and putting it in the top of my cheekbones for a nice highlight to highlight for the gods. And blend, blend to highlight for the gods. Then I'm going in with the Kat Von D setting mist and spraying that all over my face. Then I'm going with the Carly Bible palette, the light nude shade and putting that all over my eyelids with a fluffy brush. Then I'm going with another color by the Carly Bible palette. It's a light brown and putting that just on the crease of my eyelids right above the crease bone for a transition shade. And don't forget, blend that out. Do not forget to blend, blend, blend. It's just a transition shade. Then I'm going with the Geek Cheek Cosmetic Collection from Fury for the eyes. Then... I'm going in with the color Doof Riff right into the crease and getting a small pencil brush to put it in there. And then we're going in with a blending brush and blending that out. And blend, blend, blend. And then 
get another blending brush and blending it some more. Then I'm going over with another color blood bag and putting that a little bit under the color we just put but also into the transition shade just to make it a little bit darker. And then we're also going to keep on blending that color out and blend, blend, blend that colors. We don't want dark creases showing. Then we're going to be going in with we aren't, we are not things. And we're going to put that right in the corner just for a dark pop of color. And we're going to blend that out a little bit, but still make it noticeable. Then we're going in with Agua Cola right in the center of the eyelids for that pop of color to show that little Mad Max reference that in a bunch of desert, it's a little bit of water. Then we're going to be going in with some setting spray to make it pop. Then we're going in with War Rig and putting that right in the center, right in the eye duct to make it pop a little bit. Then we're going in with Witness Me and we're gonna put that right on top of the eyebrow, right on the bottom of the eyebrow bone, making that pop of color to make every other color pop. Then we're going to go with the Italia um, eyeliner in black. And then we're just gonna do our eyeliner. I'm doing a winged eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go in with the cargo pencil liner and I'm gonna line my under eyes. Then we're going in again with war rig and we're gonna put that in the bottom of the of the eyelash line and we're gonna underline our eyelashes and then we're gonna blend that out and then we're going in with the with the um, Italia mascara and we're gonna curl our eyelashes and then some more mascara and there you go and then when we're going with the cryptic cosmetics in the color gore couture And then after that, we're going to go in back with the Betty Luminizer and we're going to highlight some more. Then we're going to blend everything out. Then we're going to go in with some setting spray again. And then after that dries, we're going to go in with the Sinner Perfume by Kat Von D to smell all nice and good. And then we're going to get in a little spoolie and we're gonna just fix our eyebrows and thanks guys this is a final look i hope you guys like it okay so this look was inspired by the geek sheet collection inspired by the movie mad max fury and I hope you guys liked it. I really like the outcome of this. And I used all these, all the colors in it, except two that come from the Carly Bible palette. But I hope you guys liked it. And see you on my next one, my fashionistas. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next one. Bye.